thank goodness. It's just a blank tumbler. Oh, it's so hideous. Well, for starters, let's spray it glow in the dark. Ooh, that's better. Isn't that prettier? Looking better already. So, today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this spooky little pumpkin in these words that says boo. <laughs> Scared you, didn't it? And you might be noticing, uh, there's no eyeballs or nothing. Hey, don't worry. They're in there, trust me. And this download is available on the website, and I will tell you this ahead of time. Everyone who goes and grabs this download will be entered to win this. Well, it won't look like this. It'll look better than this. It'll be pretty or spooky. What, I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. I don't care. Hey, Bob, what are you doing back there, buddy? Look at that. Both of these have been gifts from my VIP members. We have this thing in there we call Happy Mail. And if you want to, you can put your PO box or address and randomly people from the group or even me will send you stuff. How fun is that? Link in the description. If you want to be a part of that VIP group, you do not know what you're missing. So I've got my base glow down. Next step is to stick these bad boys on and then we're gonna just spray paint some random black and gr that's not green. What color is that? Grappe. Well that's fancy. Then for the airbrushing this time, I am, oh yeah, you heard right, airbrushing, baby. I have my Createx. Uh, you can use Wicked. I have illustration colors as well. I like using that. It flows very nicely when you mix it with a few drops of the 4030 and the reducer, which is the 4012, which I uh, apparently didn't get. It's over there somewhere. Or you can reduce it with Windex with uh, ammonia in it, okay? Same difference. Easy, buddy. Hey, whoa, take it easy. I'm gonna do my transparent layers with this uh, new stuff. Well, it's not new, it's new to me. It's called Candy 2.0. And I've been dying to use these things just to check it out, see how it flows, how it works. I went ahead and bought the whole set. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna look at that. But I have lemon yellow, I have emerald green, and then I have tequila yellow. Oh my gosh, I'm dropping stuff everywhere. I wonder, I never drop anything. This one's called tequila yellow, but it's actually orange. So, not really sure where it got its name from. Probably somebody that's colorblind. I don't know, you tell me. So let's get started. But what, we've already started, but let's just keep moving. And I got a surprise for you at the end. So let's go. So for this, oh. Hang on, not the socks and sandals. Focus on the Tumblr, man. For this one, I got a lot of spooky surprises in store for you. It's gonna be really awesome. I'm gonna show you a bunch of different techniques and stuff, but the purpose is you can take and do any combination of these steps. You don't have to take it as far as I'm gonna take it on this one, but it's just fun to know what you can do like all the different things and ways you can work stuff together don't pull your eyeball off yet you need that to see okay so first i got my drippy pumpkin and i'm gonna try to straighten this mug up just put it somewhere who cares oh yeah before i put this on let me show you uh how i made it all right so real quick i wanted to bring you in here i'm just doing a little doodle of on my photoshop of a pumpkin that I think I want to do. I'm just sketching it out right now. I'll refine it here in a minute. But I kind of want them kind of spooky. A little cool, little grimace with the curls. I like the curls. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to color all this in black. All of this shape, whatever I decide to do. And then I'm going to leave this transparent. So I have transparent, black, transparent, black, transparent, black. You get the idea. So it'll make a stencil of sorts. I'll probably put a little leaf up here. I don't know if I'm gonna put a leaf or not. I don't know. Try not to be too complicated because really what I want to do is have an orange layer and have a, uh, a kind of yellowy layer and this is gonna glow. All of it's gonna glow. It's gonna look just like that. All right, I finished up the last little bit, and there's our image. Pretty wicked, huh? Kind of inspired by Venom. I watched that movie for the first time this weekend, and I thought it looked cool to do like that. So let's go. Okay, here's your first tip. Uh, let's don't use this stuff ever again, because this vinyl does not want to stick to it. It's like, I even tried to wipe it off a little bit, sand it down. But, uh, okay. Use this stuff instead. Uh, you have to put a, like, 
five, three to five coats. The more you put, the more it glows, but at least I know it works. Rust-Oleum's good stuff. And if you can, there's one of these called Glow Max. It's like 2X, blah, blah, blah. I couldn't find that one when I got these, and I just got both of them. This one's the one you want. Don't use this. What the heck? I don't know what's wrong with this thing. So here we are. I got in the black first. I got shaken up and always when you're spray painting, put your respirator on because uh, you don't want to breathe in those toxic fumes, okay? Okay. So my idea is to spray randomly black and then some splattery random whatever. I don't know. However my hand goes is what's going to happen. That's, that's basically how it goes. And we're going to spray it real quick. That's black. Yep. Okay. I kind of want to go this way. My hand wants to do that. But first, I think I'll cover it all black, which I'm doing a horrible technique. So I usually just do like this. Uh, the smoky look is kind of cool, but no, nah, I'm not doing that. You could do whatever you want. I don't care. Do the bottom. Don't forget your bottom. Now, love. Oh. There we go. Well, I'm still wet. Who cares? Just throw some purple. Woo! It blends in there when the black is still wet, which is kind of crazy. You see it melting right away? Just gives it some interesting, cool stuff because I don't want to give away a spoiler, but at the very end, I'm going to outline this pumpkin guy in the boo with uh, purple pashka. So, there we go. Some splatteries. I love those. Barely pull the trigger. I don't know if you ever tried that, but it's really cool, really fun. And I'm happy with that. Don't forget the bottom stuff. Well, I paint it to your liking, and then we come back. All right, now this is fully dry. I've got me white in me airbrush. All I'm gonna do is do a little glow around it. And I have a little bit of fire coming out the top. No big deal. Nothing crazy, just something extra to show you guys some cool things you can do or not do. I don't care. Listen, I show you the things, the choice is yours. I can't see this, it's in the dark. There we go, look at that. If you just want a nice little cool glow around then boom. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a little bit and do a little, little bit of fire. If you wanna see a more detailed uh, tutorial about how to airbrush realistic fire, just uh, there's a card right here. You can click on that and watch it. I might, if I remember, I'll put it link in the description. I make no promises with that though. So we're just gonna do a few little cool wisp of fire and I have it thinned down really good. If you'll notice, there's a thing called a blowout. When you do a lick, uh, you see how it kind of blows out. The edges are harder and the middle gets kind of see-through-y. Is that a word? I don't know. It's my word. I'm going to use it. So, just do a little blowing around like that. I'm just going to do a the candy green and yellow on top of that. I'll do the green first, come back with the white again. And then, you know, you got to make the sound effects, of course. It doesn't work if you don't make the sound effects. there you know what look and it's dry already because this is the Createx stuff boom about dry as quick as you do it so what you do there I mean you can use your fingernail if you want to use it as a stencil I realize you probably can't see that but just give the trigger a little bump bump blow it just go over it again no big deal and make it look like you did it on purpose boom there you go actually that's probably one of the coolest looking pieces that I got I'm 
I'm gonna do the same on the back with the boo, cause he's scary. All right, so now we've got a little green. I did put a little yellow and green mixed together just because I like a little like, toxic green looking it's in my mind. That's what it's going to be. So let's see what that looks like. Whoa. And I will tell you this, this is transparent. Transparent paints do not show up over black very well. So that's why you can, that's why you lay down the white and then you can kind of carefree almost go over the white I mean, it may show up something on the purple, but you're pretty much free to just kind of blow over. And the more you do, the more saturated it gets. That kind of looks like the Joker's hair, doesn't it? Ha! <laughs> Weird. All right, so just as in the other fire video, what I'm basically gonna do with this next layer of white is just hit the spots that I want to be really hot. So what it does is it carries your eye. So it's a lot more minimal than the first layer. So you're just gonna do a few whoops, whoops and swoops, basically on the hot spots. That's all you're doing. It travels your eye to and around the frame, flames, frames, you know, the fiery thingies and it gives it movement without the person even knowing that they're moving the fire with their own mind i'm just kidding kinda i don't know it's kind of like that oh you hear that little squeak that means your needle's getting clogged up so focus on my needle not on bob don't focus on bob focus on my needle so anyway there's trust me there's some tip dry right here you just pick it off best thing to do is to grab ye old rag stick it on the tip there use your fingernails give it a little twist gentle pull boom and then take hold it air down boom boom kick the back out that's what this little cutout's for it's a clean out area so boom boom like so i have no idea what i just sprayed over there also if you fill your cup up too much you will get water water paint my speaking is not working today. Paint coming out of the top. You want to keep that hole. Just trust me, there's a hole there. I know it won't focus. It's having the trouble focusing today, just like I'm having trouble speaking. But anyway, that hole is for air, and you have to have it for the paint to flow. So we're just going to noodle away at it, get real close. I like to do like a little highlight around the edge of the image that I'm working on. Ooh, that's hot right there. Look at this. Give a little dot right there. Boom. That's all you need. It's real minimal. It doesn't take much. Give you a little whoosh you do there. Again, all these technical terms can be found in the dictionary. Whoosh you do. Dobber dotter. Swoopity whoop. Just learn your words. Helps you paint better. Probably. I don't really know. All right, we'll just noodle on a few more right here. I really like this one. I'm just going to accent that spot right there. Make it really hot looking. That's hot. One little dot here. Boom! Get a little hot spot. It's cool. If it starts splattering, just give it a blowout. It might mean you didn't thin it down enough. Because I put some more white in here while you weren't looking. Try to sneak it in there on you. There we go. Look at that. One more little spot here, a little hot spot. Nothing crazy, just so that yellow can sing out of that thing. That's going to look nice. Look at that. Can you imagine? Let's put a little whoop dee wee right here with my pinky. Boom. I love those little thingies. All right. We're going to cover that up with yaller. After we do the boo, I got to do the white on the boo. But you don't need, do you need to watch that? Do you want to watch that? 
fine. All right, now this is where it gets really exciting because you have the yellow in there. You're just basically going to go over the green and over the white, and it really makes that fire turn toxic. Super cool. Look at how hot that gets. Whew. That thing is toxic fire. That's why I like to call this green and yellow combination. Uh, basically, all you're doing is just see how quick that was? Boom, go right over it. Just kind of like that's it there you go boom that fire is green and done wow man i'm looking through the camera and this thing is hot so hot it hurts. Oh, oh my gosh let's quickly do this before i burn myself with this hot hot fire man this is sick look how quickly that goes look at that boom just go over it boom hit that with the yellow light that mug up let's set that mug on fire look at that you want to get yellower? 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 Is that word? Just go over it again. Boom! What? Oh my gosh, this is so sick. Whoa, that is looking sick. You could totally leave it just like that if you wanted to. I mean, you could have left the eyes off and did the background all in one spot and then been done. I don't know. Whatever. You do you. I'm going to show you how to keep on going, take it to the next level. Uh, a little bit of the black blue under, and I'm thinking that is kind of sick, but I'm going to outline it with purple anyway. But if I wasn't, I'm not opposed to that. And if I like the way it looks so much when I'm done, I might not even outline it, but I feel like I, I'm going to because that's what I had in mind to kind of bring this out as boom contrast interest make it all flow together you know what i'm saying so now what we're going to do is put some candy orange in our airbrush and we're going to spray this orange and boo we're going to boo do that orange let's boo the do do the boo, whatever all right so this is what's called sequential masking you heard me talk about it earlier where you take and you mask something off and you spray something and then you take part off and you spray something else. And then the final layer will take this off and we'll do yellow. So you do dark to light and transparent colors so that they don't uh, show up on the preceding. But the situation here, we have a little yellowy, greeny. The yellow is lighter than the orange I'm about to put on. So when you come to the edges, you just got to be kind of careful. You just have a little control and just go for it don't get don't get scared just nice and easy i might put a little red in this to make it a little oranger i'm not really digging how yellow this is make sure your stencils are down good when you blow over i mean that's kind of nice but yeah I'm, i want a little bit more contrast from that yellow so i'm gonna throw a little red in this and then we'll mix it up and be right back you know what while i got this color I'm going to get, stay down, you little stencil. Well, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make where I want my highlights. And I'm just going to go ahead and do my highlights with this color. Stay down, loser. So you got the pumpkin shapey thingy. Do a highlight right there. Maybe here. And the top parts here. We'll do some detailing with a darker color. I'll show you how to do that. Also, while you have this color in, I don't know if you can see this, I might be a little too close, but just go ahead, do your drips. You can always come back and accent it with the darker color, but see, it's, how cool is that? You can't even see it over the darker color. So sick using transparent paints. Oh yeah, this way. So let's get the mixture of the red and the orange and we'll be back. Ah! I'm just kidding. How appropriate. This color's called blood red. How's it opening the lid? I thought that, that's funny. Yeah, whatever. Carry on. All right, now we have this darker color. Let me show you the difference there. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Ooh, that's much better. Oh, you couldn't see because my hand was in the way. Well, just pretend you saw. Yes, sir. So be careful on the edges. You don't want to make your green and yellow fire look orangey and red just be careful listen you don't have to go all the way to the edge especially like this i am going to be outlining it with a purple when that that orange then the purple 
Oh, there we go. Now we're booking. And look, I look. I'm gonna show you. You can probably see it on the camera. Maybe not. I don't know. I did go over a little orange there, but when you take that purple and put it in between these, it's gonna completely fool your mind, like a magic illusion of some sorts, where you won't even know that that's orange. You'll still be like, because your mind sees the yellow and green, and it fills in the blanks for you on a lot of stuff. So that's half the trick of art is just creating that illusion we're like magicians or something so you can go crazy down here now let's finish this up and go to the other side boo i'm scared that's scary that's scary good scary beautiful my goodness okay for the jaku lantern i'm just gonna start with it upside down and just do the what would be the bottom kind of give them a little roundness definition Whatever you want to call it. I hope that you're able to see this good enough. I won't really know until I'm editing it and be like, oh crap, they couldn't see that at all. You know what I'm saying? So just keep noodling away. Get these little dripper dippers. I mean, you don't have to get it all the way. Your mind will finish in the blanks. So we're going... Well, let's turn it this way. So look, we got the bottom, we got them shaded. So you remember we did the highlights. So what we're gonna do with this color is just paint in between those highlights. Boom, we got a little ridge top here. We're not gonna worry about all this up here because I'm gonna literally paint that in with a Pushka marker. Look, I see you sticking up, you little spooky booger. Look at that definition just jumping right out of there, just like that, it's that easy. Wow, look at that. Get over here so you can see. Listen, you gotta help me out here. You gotta move. I saw you leaning, so I went ahead and moved the camera for you. So get in close and get a line. Make us look at you. Did you see that thing blow up? I will never use this <laughs> dang um, glow paint again. I don't even know, man. What? Who makes that stuff? Krylon. Okay, thanks. Look at that. I just I like to come in and put some texture. Look at them lines going in. That's so sick. And like I said, transparent paint, the more you go over it, the darker it gets, which is cool. But I don't think I'm going to go too much. I'm going to tint it back a little bit because, uh, if you remember, I got still white under here. And I want to put yellow. So I want to be able to go over this with yellow and be able to tell a difference. You don't have to do any of this detailing that I'm doing. And I don't know if, I know I've said it, but I'll say it again while I'm doing this, that these stencils are available on my website. And if you like this pumpkin, uh, I'm going to give it away to somebody who has, who goes and grabs this file off my internet web thingy where, you know, you can get stuff like website Listen, this is just with anything else. You can push it as far as you want and decide to quit whenever you want. Right now, let's stop. I'm kidding, I'm not a quitter. I mixed up a little bit more red in there and I'm just gonna do the darker dark parts. Try not to blow my, try not to blow my stencil up. Just give it some more grungy, darky, shadowy. Shadowy, that's a good word. Keep that in your vocabulary. So that's what I'm going to do. And I figured I'd blow around these things because what my idea is, by these things I mean the stencil. So my idea is blow around the stencil. When I put the yellow, it'll pop that much more. It's hard for me to put this where you can see it because what I'm trying to do is watch this stencil very closely so that it doesn't blow off to smithereens because it's being ridiculous. Man, that's looking hot pumpkin. Let's put some more, I don't know. You could use that red to shadow here if you want to. I'm not really worried about back here. This is the focal point. This, wow, look at that. I think it's getting creepier, spookier and spookier as we go. All right, now, now we'll pull these off and we'll get some yellow in the airbrush. We're just gonna go back to the old uh, lemon yellow, straight up. 
Oh, jeez, I dropped it. Spooky. All right, look at that. Oh, that's spooky. If you notice, I had some blowouts because the stencil didn't stay down that great with the black under there. But listen, I'm going to tell you this, but I shouldn't. If you oh shoot, I just scratched it right there. If you want to, you can just scratch it off with your exacto blade, but don't do that. Listen, this is a pumpkin, and pumpkin is not a synonym for perfection. So just keep going. Okay, now looky there. See what you did? I had to try to give you the example of the exacto knife, and I scratched it right there. And I might fix it. I might not. I don't know. It's your fault. I mean, what are you going to do about it? That's what I'm going to ask. If you do have something like that, I might show you here in a second. Is you take. Uh, a little bit of the white since it's opaque and just blend it in and then go back with the orange or whatever if you want to you don't have to i don't care it's up to you but we have yellow and we're going to spray his cutout spots yellow his eyeballs and everything so basically just boom basically it just spray it yellow so just tint it to your liking and listen if you remember this back here was the glow in the dark and yellow is trans all this is transparent in theory it should show up uh through the transparent paints and you could just leave it like that if you want to whatever i'm just going to tint it back a little bit you can go back over that green again if you want to who cares just do that and then uh i think that's done we're going to take some mate clear and spray it before we go to our Pashka markers, because we're just going to lock this in real good, give our markers a nice surface to work over, they'll thank us for it, everybody will be happy, and then we can keep on. We're almost done, guys. Look at this. We're almost done. We're almost ready to sign the bottom. So, I'm excited. This is looking sick. Oh my goodness, and spooky. Spooky and sick at the same time. Is that, is that a thing? I think so, because I just made it up. So we're just going to start. I got my purple with a little outline. Just wherever. Don't be crazy. Make sure you're on the line. If you're not confident doing this, uh, I understand. It is. can be a little nerve-wracking. That's where practice, you know, comes into play. And this is... The medium tip, maybe. I really wish I had a smaller tip. But I'm going to have to probably not get all the little details and cuts and all I can hear. That's no big deal. I'm just doing it to give it just a little accent. I'm not trying to make a museum work of art here. You can still see with some of the black. And like I said, listen, our job as artists sometimes are to be is to be an illusionist we just create that illusion you know what i'm saying put the idea out there and people's minds will do the rest i try to get a decent angle where i can focus on what i'm doing because this is really intricate stuff as you can see you're in there pretty pretty noodling away and i'm still not where i'd like to be but i wanted you guys to be able to see better yeah I'm, you could probably see better than i can because i'm looking at it from an angle over here and i really can't see the tip on the surface kind of guessing at it but listen sometimes you just gotta go for it live life on the edge man or woman whatever so on the top here i know how it goes i'm just gonna i'm upside down here just going to do a little, you got to be, be committed. Just go for it. Boom. I know I want the little line to go here. And then this one's going to catch back up here. There. We got the purple all the way around. We're going to do the boo. We'll wait on that. We don't want to wait on this to dry because I don't want to prop this on this while I'm doing this. Probably won't show you the boo because... I mean, you saw this. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to get in here and do some of this. I'm going to lose some details. But I'm not really worried about it. Just do your best. Have a light touch. Really organic. 
let your hand wiggle around. Let it do what it wants to do. Yeah, well, I guess as long as it's staying in the lines. If it gets out of lines, you gotta smack it. I just, uh, I've got a lot of practice. Even though my hand is not really steady that much, you just gotta be, when you, when you decide to go for it, hesitation is what messes you up. You just gotta go. You just gotta do it, man. If you're gonna commit and you're gonna do it, you might as well just go for it. The worst you can do is mess up. And then you know what? That's how you learn for the next time. Boom. The pumpkin man is done. I'll draw a stem on. Oh, where are you? Draw a stem on and it's a little leafy there. Tell you what, let's do a stem right now. You want to? Get down here. There you are. So what we're going to do is I got this brown. It's a light brown. And I'm going to take a darker brown while the light brown's still wet. And I'm just going to kind of bleed them together a little bit while they're wet on wet. I'm going to outline the stem anyway with uh, purple. Then we'll do the little leafy green. And whoo-wee! This mug. It is this thing. Popping. So then we're going to throw some sealer, some mate clear A on it. Would you just look, just look at that. Look at that. Mm. Man, that is ridiculously cool. That came out so good so far. I didn't fix that. Uh, maybe he got stabbed in the cheek. I don't know. It'll be something for you to remember when you're chosen to receive this. Uh, that, hey, it's the one. The spooky man. But two things I want to mention. If you're too, too nervous to do the purple outline, don't feel bad about going ahead and epoxying it and then uh, give it a little sand in and then do the thing. That way, if you do mess up, Wipe it right off, you know what I mean? And the second thing I want to mention is for the transparent things, you could probably totally switch that out and use alcohol inks instead if you'd rather. I don't know. I don't see why not. Right, so now comes the drippy dippy part. To match my pumpkin where it drips on the bottom, I figured I'd do a little drip, 3D drip action on the top. And for this, I have Tulip Glow in the Dark. It's green glow and it should look super sick. Uh, this thing glows and then this will glow and then it's dripping and it all seems to work together, okay? So I've tested this out because I'm not an idiot. Uh, three different places on a poop cup that I got. I just drew it around the rim. I drew it and drew the shapes I wanted. And then I drew it and plobbed it on the top and then just like really slammed it. I did this one first. And I really slammed the snot out of it. Like, you don't have to slam it that hard. I was just trying to test the limits, you know? That's been like a, over an hour ago, and I believe it's, it's not going anywhere. So what I'm going to do is just draw it the way I want. That way I can control exactly where it goes so that uh, I don't cover up my little image. Just draw it exactly where you want. And you got a lot of time. You can just do, 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 round the little tip, push a little dip there. And you can control a nice, neat edge. Let's turn it, make it go around. Let's do a little dooby doo here. I don't care if it goes over the flames a little bit. It's kind of the point, isn't it? Listen, we're not doing a beauty contest. This is a spooky pumpkin. So look how easy this is to work with. This is so sweet. Uh, I'll try to find some and put a link in the description where you can get it. If not, maybe your local artsy fartsy craft store will have it. So I'm going to do a little here. Like literally, I'm just putting it wherever I want. Let me hold on. Let me bring you down here a little bit. Kind of had you up a little bit because I didn't really know if um, my hand would be in the way. I want a big one right here. Look at this mug. I'm loading this bad boy up. Tell you what. Well, he's moving. Let's move some of this back up. This is so cool. I got brave on that one. Look at that. You could probably do two layers if you wanted to. I don't know. Pretty sweet. Let's let's start over here. Let's get back this way. Go here. And what's cool is these things will kind of level out themselves and make it all nice and smooth, which is really cool. I've seen people do this a lot of different techniques. I've seen them do it with epoxy. I've seen them do it with super, no, not super glue. That would be weird. Hot glue? Is that what it's called? Hot glue? 
Yeah, I guess so. I thought about doing hot glue, but you know, I didn't because I wanted it to glow. Look at that. That's so cool. Some of your flames are going to get covered up here. There's no way around it. That's an unfortunate thing about painting so close to the rim when you want to do dripples. There, look at that. Isn't that awesome? So I'm going to leave it at that. You know, I'm just going to inspect my work, you know? Those, that's going to be sick. I can't wait to see that glow in the dark. Oh my gosh. So let's let this dry. And then I'm going to, as you know, <whistles> there you are. <laughs> Seal it, the whole thing with the Mate Clear A. Then I will epoxy it. And then it will look like this. Okay, look, just because I'm crazy, I just decided to try it. I felt like it was covering the boo up too much, and I just thought, you know what? I'm just going to try it. I'm going to go for it. And I took my thumb, and I just pulled up, and boom, I wiped it off. Look at that. I'm probably just going to pull a little bit right here, but I just want to I had to show you. Like, I had a thought, and I just did it. I went for it, wiped it, seeing what would happen. What's worse that could happen? It could screw the whole thing up, and I wouldn't even have a video. Wrong. I would show you, because I show you the mess-ups. I show you the victories, and I show you how to unlock your creativity, to let go of your doubts and worries, and free you for your ultimate creativity because i'm here to help you guys i appreciate all the views and subscribers and if you're not subscribed just go ahead help me out hit that subscribe button hit that like button it helps tremendously like you would not believe support my channel and one last thing if you enjoyed this and you got some value out of it please share this video to your facebook to pinterest to your mama and your cousin your i don't care share it to somebody and everybody that helps me to continue to keep doing what i'm doing bringing you these awesome tutorials man i just i just love sharing everything with you guys i'm a giver i can't what can i say let's go speaking of giving i'm gonna be giving this away to one of you guys or gals you know i don't know Look at how beautiful that turned out. Look at the sheen and the shine. Oh, there's a piece of glitter. Oh, a piece of glitter got in it. Never fails. Just add to the beauty, baby. Look at that scary guy. Ah! Oh, scared you. Did you see you jump? Oh my gosh. So I tried to get some footage of it glowing in the dark, but I couldn't really capture it on video. I don't know what I'm doing. This guy didn't really glow that much, even though we put transparent paint. And you know, that glow spray, garbage it might not have even worked in the first place i didn't even test it out before but uh the boo can't even see it but the drips oh the drips glow like crazy it is insane i'm just gonna take a second twirl this around for you look at that look at those snotty looking little drips uh, uh, some snot. i'm just kidding it's not snot seriously you saw me do it it's paint it's glow paint wow look at that oh booyahs on the bottom so if you want a chance for me to give this to you here here you go it's yours i want you to have it you gotta go pick up this download on the website link in the description thanks for watching i hope it didn't scare you too bad <laughs> Boop. speaking of giving i'm gonna be giving them this what you call I quit.